Frippertronics with the Strymon El Capistan. Let's do it. <laughs> Greetings all, I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion, and it's all about ambient guitar here. And I've gotten a lot of questions recently about how to set up the Strymon El Capistan for Frippertronics style delays and loops. If you're not familiar with that technique, it was not invented by, but popularized by Robert Fripp of King Crimson, where he used two reel-to-reel tape decks to create very long, for the time, delay times. So he could create these really cool textured soundscape types of things. You can do a lot of the same type of thing with a Strymon El Capistan if you set it up correctly. So what I want you to do first on the El Capistan is take your time knob, turn it all the way to the right, all the way clockwise, and then take the tape head switch and move it down to single head. And then lastly, take the mode switch and move it all the way down to mode C. And this is going to put the unit into SOS or sound on sound mode. When you're in this mode, the tap tempo button doesn't work like it normally does. It changes function to allow you to select a what they call a splice start and splice end time. And this can be with the time knob where it is up to 20 seconds. So let me show you what I mean here. If I hit the tap, I'm going to hit the tap tempo button. I'm going to count to eight and then I'm going to hit it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I have just dialed up about eight, maybe nine. I'm not sure if I was actually one second per number, but it's a long delay. And if I play it now, Oh, there we go. All right, and I've got some repeats dialed up, and you can hear that that's going to it's going to kind of keep going. Now, I also have the El Capistan, which I find helpful, set up to analog bypass or trails mode. So when I turn off the delay, I can play over top of whatever's going on with the, the El Capistan, but the El Capistan will stop recording my playing unless I've got bypass turned on or if I go out of bypass mode. All right, so let's talk about how to get this thing set up so we can do more Robert Fripp style types of things. First off, just pick whatever guitar you want. Fripp used uh, Les Paul a lot of times. I use whatever I have handy. I do like to roll the tone knob down and I like to add distortion. And this is what my tone, my distorted tone normally sounds like. All right, so kind of mid-rangey, kind of a Fripp. I think you guys who are experts on Fripp's equipment, comment below, but I think Fripp in some cases used a fuzz pedal depending on what uh, era it was for his career. The next thing you'll want to consider that I like to do is, do you want another delay or some other modulation kind of unit after the Strymon El Capistan? So I'm going, you know, my distortion and amp modeling into my volume pedal, right? and then into the El Capistan. But after the El Capistan, it's kind of cool, in this case, if you add some modulation. That sounds really nice. That happens to be the Strymon Deco, but you're not locked into the Strymon Deco. Use whatever you have that you like the sound of. It could be a flanger, a chorus, a doubler pedal, maybe the TC Electronic Mimic, or even another delay pedal where you might want to set it up to almost a slapback kind of delay or a very short modulating delay just to give you some fullness to the tone. 
And then finally, and this is totally optional, you can add in some reverb. And I've add, added in a little hall or room reverb from the Strymon Big Sky. Again, it can be any reverb pedal that you have. All right, so we've got our basic sound going. I've got that eight second or so loop set up in the El Capistan. I did add in some repeats, as you can see. I'm going to leave all the tape kind of grunge and the kind of the tape degradation controls turned all the way down. But let me go ahead and play some lines. I'm just going to play some very simple two note lines. And you'll see how you can create loops and layers with these types of lines. Here we go. I love that kind of layering, the looping, decaying layering. Now, if we add a little bit of tape degradation into the El Capistan, we get this kind of thing. With the degrada tape degradation controls kind of set up, tape aging and the, I think whatever it's called there, you can get that kind of old, old tape kind of sound that just kind of fades out gracefully. Now, on the El Capistan, if you crank the repeats up, you can get some really cool layers going, and then you can turn off the El Capistan and solo over top of that. So let's see what that sounds like. Now I'm going to go ahead and solo over top of this. So what if you don't have an El Capistan? Well, all is not lost. Just find yourself a delay pedal that can do up to six, seven, maybe eight seconds delay time. So for example, I'm thinking of the TC Electronic Flashback series. They can all do seven second delays. That's, that's plenty of time to do these long looping Frippertronics effects. Here's a playlist of other Frippertronics videos I've done. I hope you'll check them out and I'll see all of you on the next video.